whether you make it to the league or not, you are not, you are not who you are because of the league. You are who you are because of who you are. And if you make it to the league, then the league is going to be blessed with your presence. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Through all the bumps in the road and the stormy weather, the heart of a champion you can never measure. I don't think greatness is something you're born with. Some mysterious power bestowed upon us by God. It's something that truly exists in everyone. I look at it as a superpower we all have, buried deep inside us. This tiny diamond surrounded by layers and layers of rock. The hardest rock in the universe. And every time you do something good, a piece of that rock breaks away. I see dudes 6'10", I'm like, you wasting it. You bragging about you 6'8", you wasting the height. I'm about 5'10 with my shoes off. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Married 5'10". Been married 30 years 5'10". Two beautiful kids 5'10". I don't need to be 6'6". That's your life. See, they don't understand you wanted success and you wanted it so badly. You fell madly in love with the process and therefore you gladly pushed past the limits of average. If there was an opportunity in your sight, you grabbed it. Be comfortable on who you are. Be comfortable if y'all poor. If you come from a family right now that's broke, you use that, use that to your advantage. I use that to my advantage that I was a high school dropout, that I was homeless, that I ate out of trash can. I, I love dealing with a dude who think because he come from money, he better than me. Let's go. But so many of you out there have the heart of a lion, but you keep lying to yourself. You keep denying yourself. You keep depriving yourself. You keep hiding yourself from the gifts that you have to share with the world. From this day forward, set out to achieve greatness, not by looking for someone to give it to you. No, no, no. But by going to work to set your own inner greatness free. <laughs> Let's go. You got money, but do you got that dog? Yeah, you got money, you got print, but do you got that dog? You are the example now. You are the man to reshape the culture of your world. Okay, do you got that stamina? So yeah, you might have something I don't have right now. But if I work hard, I can have what you have. So just when they think you're about to give up, you remember all the reps in the gym, the days you outworked all of them. And that's what gives you the strength to power through the fatigue and rise above the rim. Be the mighty man of valor that wants to change the next generation. They might have more talent, but they fold under pressure because they were only out for the pleasure, the gold, and the treasure. And thus, they crumble to better or even lesser competition. So the day all of the excuses stop, this is where your heart of a champion starts. Is there something you want to tell me, Bobby? You can talk to me, son. Yeah, uh... <laughs> huh? Uh-uh. Nope. It's not you. It's not you. Why not? Really? Your last year. We've been working hard for this shit. Why does it matter where I go? I got a scholarship, Dad. This... This is what I actually want to do with my life. You're not going to that Jelly, Julie, or whatever the f the name. Juilliard is one of the best about. That ain't your fault. You didn't have that positive role model. Somebody to lead. Just their presence. You didn't have that. Maybe you had a bad role model. That ain't your fault either. The blame game is over. It's time for you to take full accountability. What do you got to do to separate yourself? Wake up earlier than the rest. Yeah. What time is that? What time are they getting up? 
Good. So you need to be up at least by what? Seven. Am I better than the other motivational speakers? I don't know if I'm more talented than I just know I get up at three o'clock and put my videos out first. I just know I do five a day. So if you're actually better than me, nobody will know. The opportunities are endless when you turn your rise and shine into rise and grind. Because when you find more time, you can turn those pennies into nickels and those nickels into dimes. You see, we all have it inside us, everyone. But unless we learn the right way to get it, by going through all of the blood, all of the sweat, all of the hard work, we simply ain't worthy of it. So get to work. It's time to man up. Mighty man of valor, I have given you permission to walk with your head held high. Stick your chest out. Walk with confidence. Lead with purpose and conviction. What's your heart like? What's your will like? What's your discipline like? What's your passion like? The excuses are for those with no ambition. Excuses are for those that live life hoping and wishing. Excuses are for those with hard heads that never ever listen. I just want you to be who you can be. I believe in you. Because I know it's there. No matter what anyone else has said or how anyone else has made you feel before, it's there. So you had it harder than other people. Well, then you're going to have to work a little harder. But trust me when I say you have greatness inside you. What you do with it is down to you. You rise up and begin your march to the halls of greatness. You tell the world, please pardon your lateness. But the new you has finally arrived. You hit a stay, not just a temporary replacement. You know overnight success. You did it brick by brick and you started below the basement. The path of most resistance, you always faced it. And any failure in your past, you learned, grew, and applied. But then you quickly erased it from your mental because you knew long term success required short term memory. And thus, you only remember the next play or decision that is critical for you or your team to achieve the ultimate outcome of victory. Champion, you are unstoppable, you are strong, you are built to lead with the spirit of excellence. See, your greatness muscle must be exercised daily. And it all starts with your morning routine. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Meaning your mind, your heart, your body, and your spirit must be uplifted to give you the fuel needed to truly ignite you to become the highly favored and gifted individual you are capable of being. With the spirit of passion and with the spirit of resilience, you are a warrior. You are a man of valor. It's time to man up. Let's go, baby. Ten toes down, living this champion lifestyle already. A man don't always put forth effort and accomplish his goals. As men, we fail too. We don't always do everything perfect, but if you're a real man, you try. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you're a real man, you try. The heart and desire to power through and complete any endeavor. The quest to achieve greatness is forever ingrained in you. the champion inside of you to start exploding so like the great Eric Thomas says you've got average skill but phenomenal will and like Captain America you carry a shield that allows you to deflect all the hate pills from the jacks and the deals but all of the bricks that they threw you picked up and used to build your blocks of success and you finally figured out the message in your mess and now you're ready for any test and your testimony will bless any and everyone that faces a similar quest you invested a lifetime of hardships to put yourself in a position to win champions Championships. Not to mention, your ascension to greatness will inspire an entire generation to push through any obstacle they're facing. So in the face of defeat, you mad because you know it's not over until it's over. And your motto is always no retreat, no surrender. Champions win the mental battle of the morning, which allows them to be all that they can be. So please, make the world remember you were here. Because through all the bumps in the road, 
in the stormy weather the heart of a champion you can never measure.